Oh, and just so you're prepared, the last time you went to rehab, I told them you were in Sweden. Sweden? What? You're treating me like an animal. It's either this daddy or the old folks' home. You make the choice. Granddad? Did he just die in camera? What did you do to him, Elliot? Nothing, Mom. Elliot, just go to your room. Mom, I'm not six years old, and I don't have a room. This isn't my house. Elliot has obsessive compulsive disorder. He has Tourette's syndrome, for God's sake. Oh, okay. Sorry. Now, if we could have the groom walk his mom to her seat. Um, it, uh, I just... I told you. Tell me what, Lynn. Like... How do you want me to get a breath of air? We are outside, Paul. You just so enjoy trying to tear this family apart. Did you hear about Alice? I mean, it's such a bizarre thing to do to yourself. I mean, I don't get it. Well, anorexia, I can understand. I mean, everybody wants to look good, but this is just gross. Is. Elliot says that Lynn says that when Dad met you, you were a stripper. Have you been telling your kids that I was a stripper and a coke whore? You're I, such a good mother. Elliot, so sweet. Get out, you son of a bitch. You just insulted yourself. Shut up. Bad mother. I was thinking about it, and the only one who is normal is Dylan, and you didn't raise him, like, at all. Everybody thinks that I don't understand everything, but I want to. You know what, Elliot? Go get high. Ruin your fucking life, because I'm giving up. We all know what you want, man, because you never had the decency to keep anything private. This is my family, and this is hell. And you can't let them tell you who you are or what you're capable of. They don't matter. You do, Alice. You do.